Josh Taylor versus Catrell or Catterall. Y'all correct me in the UK. Did Josh Taylor win that fight? Question number one. That's the question I like to hear uh, people respond to the most. Number two, I think a lot of people thought it was some home cooking. I do too. Uh, I actually was very excited about this fight. I've been waiting for it since whatever, the November, December. It was supposed to originally be in November, December. Taylor got hurt and then it got moved back. And I thought it would be a little more action in this, but it was it was it was way too much damn holding for me. But even with the holding, the guy you see you see the damage to Josh Taylor's face. You can't deny that. And only one judge was bold enough to give it to uh, Jack Catterall or Cattrell. And I don't know, man. It's 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 kind of it's kind of upsetting to to see this type of thing in boxing and I'm glad last night that on the Showtime card Chris Colbert uh, lost like he was supposed to and there was no uh, favoritism by the judges and he didn't lose like on no uh, 115, 113 stuff like no all the judges gave it like 10 rounds or two <laughs> to his opponent who was the underdog and if you're honest you have to give seven or eight rounds to Catterall. I don't know how you can't give that to him. And I looked at reaction on Twitter. I looked at the reaction on many, many different things. And for some reason, nobody is like speaking up saying how this should be an automatic rematch. Uh, we'll see if the British board of bot. Well, that's not Britain. That's Scotland. We'll see if the United Kingdom Boxing Board or whatever it's called uh, orders an immediate rematch or if they have a rematch in the United States outside of Scotland on neutral neutral ground. Maybe even in London if they don't want to leave the United Kingdom. But I think it'd be good to have that fight in Vegas. You know, we, you know in the United States they ain't got all these COVID rules like my friends do over there across the pond. Have it in Texas, have it in Vegas, have it in Florida in the United States. Or just, you know, have it somewhere over there. I don't know how Europe's feeling right now. I know y'all going through a little war and everything. I know y'all are good over there in Ireland, Northern Ireland, and uh, the whole United Kingdom. But I know it's still close to home. So I wish you guys the best. And I hope we can go forward with boxing this year without any sad or tragic events. But other than that, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Catterall was robbed or the Taylor edge him? And I think I know what everybody's thinking. Um, Mass Hook Sports Radio, I'm out. I was really excited for this fight, but uh, just a little bit too much hugging, holding, and pulling. It was not as much boxing as I thought. I didn't I didn't like all that. They got to start taking some points away. It was, it was way too much grabbing. It would be different if it was grabbing here and there, but it was a, it was a lot of grabbing and, and, and very few punches thrown, like just straight forward. And I didn't, I didn't like that. I wasn't feeling that.